going on with y'all? How y'all feeling? It's your boy Perplex. You know what it is, Cerebral Cortex Reviews. I'm going to cut right to the, the chase. I'm going to cut right to the point. Microsoft shooting shots at Google per GameSpot. The source came from GameSpot. If anybody can shoot a shot at a heavyweight like Google, it's Microsoft. <laughs> Why not? This is pertaining to their Stadia software, or hardware, whatever you want to call it. It's a cloud-based streaming service that allows you to stream your games 4K, 1080p, Ultra HD. That's amazing. Let me stop right there for a minute. Google, is they can dominate this. But let's be clear. You're going to need an Ethernet cable connected straight from the system or connected straight to whatever you're streaming it from to your router, modem, whatever you got, gateway, whatever you have. You have to. Because streaming in high-end 1080p, 60 frames, 4K, man, Wi-Fi ain't going to cut it. I don't care if you got 300 gigabytes of speed, 300 megabytes of speed. I don't care if you got... Seven terabytes of speed. I don't know. I don't care what you got. Internet fluctuates. But when you have that direct connectivity, sky's the limit. Prime example. I have PlayStation Now. It's a great service. Tons of games. 700 and counting. That you can stream. However, I can be directly close to my gateway, my wireless gateway. And... Sometimes I notice that it'll start to lag. I'll lose display. It'll start to struggle. It'll get weak. Weak at the knees. And I'm banging about 200 megabits of speed. You know, so you got to have that, that wired connectivity, man, if you want to get the full thrill. Especially when you're playing, like, fighting games, high-end, fast-paced JRPGs. We already know how fast JRPGs can be. They can be really fast, a lot of stuff going on. Um, racing games, games that's very taxing on services, especially software and even hardware, even you know. So, now back to the point Xbox is shooting shots, Microsoft is shooting shots. They're saying your content is amazing with your specifications of your cloud based system, but you don't have the content to be competitive right now. Microsoft is buying all kind of third-party support. They're already established. They have a great first-party developmental team. They're already established, so they can shoot that shot, and they're right. Google can do all the high-specification streaming they want, you know, but if they don't have the games to back it, I mean, it's going to be all for naught. But with that being said, with that being said, I believe third-party developers are going to gravitate over to the Google service because they want to display their games out to the public because it's the most, it will be the most powerful system. It will be cloud-based, but it will be a powerful display of what they can bring. Developers want to show their best stuff. And the way you can do that is on the best systems, the most powerful hardware, the most powerful software. Simple as that. It's been going on for years. We all know that. But Microsoft is saying, look, you need, and they have a great point. They have every ability right now to shoot that shot because they, they, have, they have powerful hardware. The software and hardware mesh is like a glove in a hand. But they know that they better have them games, too. They know they better have them games, and that's what Google better do. It's all about, it's all about culpability. It's all about already being established with that being said man it's going down it's going down epic games they're going back and forth battling with steam it was even one guy that came on and said epic games is going to be and you guys can uh, read it online he said epic games is the savior of pc gaming how steam got great customer service they got great games, tons of games, like 15,000, multiple gameplay settings, play with controller, mouse, keyboard, you know, everything. 
They got VR games. You name it, they got it. I know you guys are probably thinking about what I just said with the customer service. They don't have good customer service. Who told you that? You can be playing the game. You don't like the game because it crashes or it glitches. You may not like it because it costs too much. You wasn't familiar with the gameplay. You having issues with the color scheme of the game. Who knows? Valve don't care. Steam don't care. They're saying you can get that game refunded and the DLC for whatever reason. Just make sure you do it within either two weeks or you don't put two hours into the game. That makes sense. That makes sense. Epic ain't doing that. Epic don't have 15,000 games in the game store. Yeah, they stole a couple third parties. They got some third party support. Of course, you know, they want to establish themselves, so they need to get some third party support to really establish themselves, themselves against Steam. But talking about taking over and all that stuff, no. Valve has been doing this for a while now. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take a lot more than a couple third party grabs to take away from Steam. I'm still going to do my Steam game because, and it, not to mention the discounts. Every month, Steam is doing a massive discount. Games for 50 bucks being sold for like 10 bucks. Games for 30 bucks, sometimes being sold for $2. They be having massive sales, 70, 80, 90% sales. Games for $20, five bucks. You know what I mean? You, you guys see it, man. It's amazing. You can play the, a lot of these games. Now, Steam software has got so incredible now to where you can play like 90% of these games now with a game pad, with a controller of your choosing. You know, so you got to give it up to Steam. Valve, Steam, they, they doing it big. Epic Games got to get their establishment up first, similar to Sony. When they first came out with the PlayStation in 1995, they didn't come out the gates taking over. It took them about two years. They had to get third-party support. It took them two years to get their, their name out, even though Sony was a known company, but it wasn't known in the gaming industry. People want something that's known, you know, so for them to be shooting shots, Hey, man, they got, they got a ways to go, according to Perplex. But I don't know everything. I'm just saying. This is speculation, but you heard it from me. Subscribe, y'all, and know how to stay hype. I'm out.